Welcome back to the point and click community for people like me with no to little IT experience. Today we install RioLink client onto a Windows 11 Pro machine. Windows 11 is not out yet, but we want to try it on a development edition and see if it runs perfect. If you have a Windows 10, works the same way, I guess. Just let's go right into it and start with the install. Here we are, Windows 11. This is not supported yet. Just let's give it a try. If you install on Windows 10, it's the same way. I have no other browsers installed, so I gotta use the Microsoft Edge. We go to the website, link will be in the description. And we will download. Yeah, if I'm not connected to the internet, I can't do that, right? That's why I don't have it in full screen. I mess up today. I'm so sorry. Let me just connect to the internet here on this virtual machine. I. There we are. Now I downloaded the latest version here. I click download. I'll open the downloads folder. I right click on it and run it as administrator. For anyone, install. And I want to run it. Let's close this out. Allow access through the firewall, come on. Now it's trying to connect to the cameras. I have, like I mentioned, a couple 410Ws and a C1 Pro running here. So we have here the three cameras. Let's just connect the camera. I'm gonna go and put my password in. If you don't have the password, or you forgot your password, the only way to connect to this camera basically is taking that camera down from wherever it is and reset that camera and start over. So, And the second one too. Click on here. And log in. I'm gonna turn the sound from these cameras off because it's just annoying right now. We can look here at your client settings and you see that. I don't know if this is a, a Windows 11 issue. We can go and look at my desktop settings real quick. I can type in settings or I just right click and open my taskbar settings and that gives me to the settings. This is the fastest way for me. And I look at my colors. I have the dark mode on. This has nothing to do with the dark mode. I saw this transparency effects, but even if I turn them off, you see it's still transparent. Let me close that out.
and open it back up on a side note here this issue is related to my development version of windows 11. it is not at all related to the real link client in windows 10 you probably won't run into this issue in fact it is not a real issue and you see it is transparent still so so let's change the color scheme here so i can show you let me change the background to a solid color that's my workaround for now This way we can see that better. Now when I move it over, we are able to see something here. You can turn your alarm beep on. It depends. I'm really using this not a lot. Sometimes I look in once in a while because like I said, I have my cameras configured to upload to the FTP server. But I use that sometimes to make a live view if I want to view something, I don't know if the weather is bad or and I want to just take a look at it in a live view. Let's see, download path, save your captured images to your picture real link. I, I leave all that stuff like it is. That's where it saves the videos. So you can set that up however you like it. Like I said, I just look, use it for live view. Everything else goes to my FTP server. I can show you in the camera setup real quick where this is set up, but I'm not going really deep into that stuff. I'm gonna make that a little smaller so we can see it. Right now I'm in this camera, in the front door camera. And on the surveillance, I set my FTP server up. And you see it's turned on. And on motion. I click on here and I should be able to see my FTP settings. And that's all I have to set up. I do it on each camera. I set it up so I don't have to run the desktop at all the time. That's it. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And turn on that notification bell. And you guys have a great week.